Um, this is going to be a relatively shorter uh, discussion on the batter's shoulder, uh, mostly because we don't have a ton of information about this yet, but it's something that's emerging and therefore worth knowing about. <clears throat> um, the batter's shoulder is something that we've coined as a, as a way to describe a posterior subluxation of the humeral head in the lead shoulder of a batter. Uh, this is distinctly different from most of the labral injuries that we see and most of the shoulder injuries that we see in, in overhead athletes because most of their injuries are related to throwing. This is something that's not typically related to throwing, but rather to hitting. So the lead shoulder in most cases is fortunately not the throwing shoulder unless the batter is a switch hitter. And then unfortunately it is also the throwing shoulder, so it can be a, a throwing related problem as well. Approximately 500 pounds of force dynamically pulls the lead shoulder posteriorly with a resultant subluxation or dislocation as the arm is in the adducted position pointer on here. I don't. But if you look at the lead shoulder in the position of adduction, the upper arm is adducted across the chest uh, pretty far in both of these batters as they contact the ball. So there's a posteriorly directed force as the bat, as the ball uh, contacts the bat. Uh, 